What's up, YouTube? After an excruciating wait to 9.01 p.m. Pacific time, we finally have the Honkai Star Rail Acheron trailer. Your color, quote unquote, is what it's called. I'm still sick, but I'm ready to react to the Acheron demo. Let's see what it has to offer us. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Pemico. The Charmony Festival is here, and guests from all walks of life are for updates right after the break. The Hoyo... Hoyo vs. Cinematic Universe, Apply question mark? Your color. Sparkel? Red eyes? Welcome to the danger zone. I hope we get an interaction between the two of them. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute, excuse me? Blady? That's a that's a cool looking uh L2D right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's it's all the Stellaron hunters. Well, besides Sam. Our existence is fleeting as dawn's do. Oh destiny. What was that? Animusha. Damn! All oh, these trailers always make them look way cool. Is this like representative of like a a previous battle they've had? Oh. Sparkle? Question mark. I've seen her before. Find me. Find me. Your end. My origin. Your end. My origin. Uh oh. All oh, that is past. Is this like a like a mock up to a thing again? Just like tears. Eventually disappear in the rain. Dude, that was. <laughs> there is nowhere to go Oh, that's incredible. I love this black hole graphic. Damn, dude, she just killed everyone. Sparkel? Hello? Raiden? Your color. Find me. Wait, that voice though. Is it her? Question mark? Man, we got that that Raiden a Raiden BGM riff again. Have they fought before? Because if so. That's pretty pog. Damn, dude. Restore this lost memory. Oh, damn. Did she just destroy a memory? Or did she, like, put it away? I don't think that's uh, Allegra Clark. Allegra Clark. I, can't, I don't know why I can't say her name. Damn, this is insane. And we have the callbacks to the Mirrored Celestia trailer. See? The mask disappearing. Find me. What if Sparkle dies? Oh no. This is a this is an awful realization. <laughs> oh man. Alright, let's hear it. Here in Mandarin. I like this style. Very cinematic. Oh wait, that that voice sounded more like Acheron. Like another Zhuhuahua. So, okay. But then that's Sparkle. Damn, e evil? Question mark? Salon Hunters? Because they're not like by default evil, right? So is this like a... Is she kind of calling upon um, memories of a past life? Now I'm kind of like, how old is she, dude? How long has she been doing this? Knowing me, Hoyo, she's probably 500 years old or more. And this entire time has been suffering. 
Yeah, the the that's crazy. The hands, it's like spark less, but is it like Acheron nihility nine question mark? What's going on? Okay, yeah, it is. It is her. It is Acheron talking to herself. I thought it was Sparkle. Wow, this is incredible. They've been cooking all the latest trailers, dude. Yeah, I think that's predominantly... Unless Sparkle's VA is doing some crazy tricks. That's That's gotta be Acheron talking to herself. Here's the, here's the ultimate test. Listen for uh, Miyuki. Because all that obviously implies Sparkle, right? But that's like, that's it? Oh, I think, I think this is her versus Sparkle. Or Sparkle's illusions. Yeah, it's very clear in the Japanese version that it's it's part of what I ran in and part the others. Uh what was um dang it, I can't remember from her uh story quest, but Sparkle was like hired to come to Penacony. I wanna say for the watchmaker's legacy, but was it to bring Akron here too? Damn, these effects look so good. That shot, though. Nowhere but forward. Okay, that's that's a good sign. Question mark. Can't dwell on the past, right? Bro, don't tell me she obliterates Sparkle in the in the next act. <laughs> Oh, the Robin poster on the right. I didn't. I didn't see that earlier. Find me. Oh, I will. I will be looking, ma'am. I will be looking. God damn. Okay. Okay. So I'm not sure when I'm gonna like release this video. It's probably gonna come first because it's the demo. But in the last like Akron trailers that I watched, I was like speculating about the connections with HI3, as well as who Akron might be. That's clearly been outdated by more information that I've looked up from other creators, um, threads on Twitter, people discussing it on Reddit, etc. And just hearing people talk about it, it's really cool. But yeah, what we picked up from Izumo in the Mirrored Celestial trailer was the fact that Akron, you know, comes from like a destroyed world. One of the theories is that Izumo is like her Earth in her universe, and it did fall. So she might be someone who travels... I don't know if dimensions is the right word, but travels to a, to a different universe. She might be from somewhere completely different, right? Or she is part of this like universe or galaxy, but like her world was destroyed by uh, the Kamigami. Right, and and that could be very much a parallel to the Honkai itself in HI3. And for those of you who don't know, Honkai is like this uh, energy force that kind of creates these beings and super powerful creatures, aka the Hershers. Um, and the original, the original like goal of the Honkai was to like destroy humanity, but um, that's kind of shifted as as time has gone on. Regardless, they are a large danger to humanity in general. The twelve Sentinels look very much parallel to the 12 divine keys that were forged in the previous era in Honkai Impact 3rd. They are used to fight against the Honkai, especially against the, um, I believe against the, the Hershers themselves, right? And in the current era, um, all, the strongest, some of the strongest warriors of, of humanity have inherited those weapons, right? So we have a lot of parallels here. We got a lot of the, like, like Acheron might, like the simplest way to put it is Acheron might represent a person who survived the bad ending, right? She could have been another ride in May in another universe who lost everyone dear to her because apparently she had a traveling partner. One of the um, one of the relic sets alludes to that, right? And the person she talks to in the Mirrored Celestial trailer. In English, it wouldn't make sense, but in Chinese and in Japanese, you know that that's the same voice actor that they use for the fabled Kevin Kaslana, who is a very important character in Honkai Impact 3rd. So, there's just a lot of these parallels of this kind of cyclical story that's going on. Mihelia likes these, like, this this format. I mean, it makes a lot of sense considering they're, like, Evangelion fanboys, right? They're probably huge Gurren Lagann fanboys as well. And so that story, like, and it's probably not original to those animes, right? But it, that story of, like, uh, cyclical civilization is, like, very apparent. The, the, the rise of humanity and then their downfall due to either their own hubris or an outside force that has to, like, push them down that has to like prevent them from advancing. Um, 
that's kind of like I think the, the the early like concept of like Honkai versus humanity. So um, it's really interesting to see them bring it into Star Rail finally, or like to, to connect a, a lot more of the dots and make it a lot more obvious, especially for someone like me who who does enjoy like the lore and the story, but isn't like paying that close attention to it. So I'm, I'm really digging the direction they're going in. Pentacony has been a blast so far. I've been waiting. It's been an excruciating seven weeks, uh, just about and Akron will be releasing soon. I will just, I'm just gonna go straight into the story. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna skip the gotcha day one. I'm just gonna play the story. I know that's gonna take me like six hours or whatever. I need the energy. Uh, I'm still recovering. Um, I know that it's gonna be a marathon. So I'm gonna try to plow through all the story and then we'll do Akron pulls and light cone pulls after that. She looks sick as hell. Incredible unit. SU farmer, broken, must pull, yada, yada, yada. No unit analysis, just really cool, really hot, high damage, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Synergy with Nihility teams, which I already like. That's uh, that's what's going on. Um, trying to think about what else I could say about this trailer, this demo right now, besides the fact that it is gorgeous, it is a technical masterpiece. <laughs> no, but this is, this is definitely like, every trailer so far has just really upped the ante. Like, I really feel like Toyoverse Star Rail team has really outdone themselves every single time. It's just incredible. Um, the Sparkle trailer was amazing. Uh, before that, I think the one that I like, I was so, I was the most hyped about was, you know, obviously Kafka, right? Um, there are just specific characters that they've been bringing over um, who are either related to HI3 or have a very loose connection or they're just very um, anticipated characters. And Akron has been anticipated for quite a long while. Um, everyone's been waiting, you know, everyone everyone wants the ride in XP, right? And so now you have her. I, I'm happy she's here. She looks badass. She looks really cool. Um, she probably has a really sad story behind her as well. But I am, you know, I, I wanna, you know, I wanna see her, her, uh, her lifelong partner, potentially another Galaxy Ranger, question mark. Kiana Kaslana, <laughs> space cowgirl. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, what do you think about this trailer? What are you What are you looking forward to? What do you think is gonna happen in Pentacony Act 2? Uh, have you been enjoying it so far? Are you gonna pull for Acheron? Do you think she's gonna be really cracked? Like everything is hyping her up to be? And what do you think they're gonna take the story? Because honestly, that's like the biggest part is that like, you know, they, they've really hyped up the fact that their, their writing team has gone together to really put together a very substantial uh, piece of literature for all of us playing. And it's gonna be uh, wholesome and uplifting, of course. So I really look forward to uh, being uplifted <laughs> during the next uh, the next couple acts. I mean, the next few months, really, of of, of uh, Star Rail patches. Yeah, you know what? I'm here to enjoy the ride. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you want to see me stream, I usually stream on twitchtv today on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 9 p.m. Pacific time. That's gonna do it for me. But uh, until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.